fair use, buddy. Strike it all you want. I have two gay children. That ain't going to work for me. It doesn't even matter about my kids. I was anti-gay since I came out of the womb. So you motherfuckers think you're going to take me down? You're not. So this is the screen. So there it is. There's the hula hoop. Notice she's holding a hula hoop. So, Kate, I thought you didn't have a hula hoop. I thought I was lying. Yeah, that's what, she, that's what my, um, he says it's okay to play. Because it's not, har- I mean, the Shuli show is all harassment. This is, this is Kate Meany on the hula hoop. As you can see, that is Kate Meany, right? That is Kate Meany. And then there's the hula hoop. Now, I'm still worried about it because, you know, I, I'm not sure. But I'm just going to leave it at that for now. But you now know that Kate Meany, okay, I'm not going to play it. People are saying don't play it. All right, I won't play it. But I have proved, yeah, everyone's saying I showed enough to prove it. So Kate Meany is a liar. She has a hula hoop. I told you she did. She lied again and said she did not. Because Kate Meany is a pathological liar. Shall I go over again how many people Kate Meany has screwed over? Or have we heard enough? We know that what she did to me was so anti-democratic and so egregious and nefarious and really just mean when I was nothing but nice to her. How many times did I defend her? How many times? You all witnessed it. Brennan said I was white knighting for Kate Meany far too much. I went to Melton's house to defend her honor and her mother's. But her mother, quite honestly, is enabling Kate Meany to become everything that she has. I warned her mother. Her mother doesn't give a shit, which explains why Kate Meany is the mess of a person that she is. Now, Mom, I'm on the air. Oh, really? Okay, thanks. Okay. I guess Kate's mother just called here and talked to my mom. Uh, Hey, Mom, what did she say? No. Is she still on the phone? Well, Kate Meany's mother, well, Kate Meany's mother, if you're watching, which apparently you are, I didn't do anything to your daughter. Your daughter did everything to me. She attempted to get my channel struck. I make six figures from this show. That's a fact, Jack. I made 16 Gs this month. So, your daughter tried to get my channel struck, and she committed a crime by releasing private phone calls. California is a two-party consent state, and she plans on playing the phone calls of mine and Chad's at DabbleCon. Mind you, Mary Ann Holford, I am going 
to the precinct on Monday. And I shall be getting an arrest warrant for your daughter. California is very strict and is a two-party consent state. So Kate should not be hanging around with Luis like she did last night. What she should be doing is stop it with the illegal recordings. Now, Marianne, I tried to warn you. You, but it fell on deaf ears. You don't care. You don't care about your daughter's well-being. I do, but not anymore. I called you to help your daughter. You refused to help your drug-addicted prostitute daughter. Keep in mind, she told Chad the same story she told me about the 20,000. Ma, you got to take it off the hook. Is that her? Yeah. That's Kate's. That's Kate. It's probably spoof. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's a spoof call. I'm leaving it off the hook. Okay. Just, I'll bring it down there. just don't, don't, don't. Okay. Just All leave right. it off the hook. It is Kate's number, but it's not. It's but it's not Kate. Dabbling Dan, I'm not. I I understand. I'm just. I'm saying the same things I'm, that I said yesterday. Anyway, it's not the point. Here's the point. Marianne, your daughter told Chad and me the $20,000 that she received from a guy named John from California, Marietta County, the 20 Gs. She took 13. She gave a friend, friend seven for sex. And they were doing coke according to your daughter. That is what your daughter told me. Your daughter has lied about everything. And this is where I have to applaud Kevin Brennan. Hit the like button. Never been arrested. Never got a DUI. And you guys want to destroy my good name. For what? For what? You all try and up each other on what nefarious thing you could do to take me down. Well, I'm still standing. I'm not a quitter. I will not let you beat me. You will not. The Duke will win. The Duke is a winner. The Duke has accomplished everything he has set out to do in life. I'm going to tell you a few facts about me. You know, I walked to school alone when I was four years old. Do you know I was home alone when I was six? Fact. And my mother and father were at my grandmother's. And I was waiting for my big Bazooka Joe great bubblegum. And they took a long time. But I was home alone. I was independent at the very young age of four. I was a latchkey kid. Both my father and mother worked. I would come home from the house. I would come home from school and open the door to an empty house alone and was there alone. Did my homework alone. Practiced my guitar alone. Fact. Now, I'm glad that my mother and father let me be independent because it made me stronger. It made me be able to accomplish things on my own because there are certain people that I have to protect myself against. And I got to continue getting these in shape, getting the guns in fucking shape, motherfucker. And I'm going to fucking 
be going to Alabama. <laughs> Hit the like button and be like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, fuck you, Doom. Goodbye. I'll do it like that show. Goodbye. Get, get, get.